You're starting for a Wichita family without the 10 year old boy BJ who died last month after his body quickly started to reject a transplanted heart that he got eight, eight years ago. Sean Logging talks with his mother about the impact of this loss and the importance of people being an organ donor. The teddy bear has his heartbeat along with his voice. This teddy bear is one of Brittany Carter's prized possessions. It connects her to her son, Brandon Ingram Jr., better known as BJ. I'm just grateful that I got to uh, spend those 10 years with BJ. BJ got a second chance at life when he was 18 months old. When he had got sick, um, he was flown to Children's Mercy Hospital. BJ's mom says he was the first patient at that Kansas City hospital to get a mechanical Berlin heart before getting a transplanted heart. So full of energy, not even the kids he played with could keep up, not even me. <laughs> a decision made by another parent, Brittany says gave her what any parent wants, a chance to watch their kid grow up. A very courageous and very kind thing for a parent to lose another child and be willing to give their organs to other children who need it so that their child can live through them as well. Those past eight years, Brittany saw her son grow and thrive. He was a leader. Um, he was a true child of God. He was into football and basketball and full of life. Now a life cut short. In November, BJ was admitted to a Dallas Children's Hospital as his body started to reject the transplant medications and his heart quickly deteriorated. It just, it was a lot. Brittany is thankful for the time she got with BJ and says his life will still be celebrated on his birthday and heart day. In Wichita, Sean Logging, 12 News. To learn more about organ donation, visit Donate Life Kansas. BJ's family has also set up a GoFundMe to help with funeral costs and a service later this week. There is a link to that on the KWCH News app.